Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about the polygon angle sum theorem. So we're going to start first by defining what a polygon is. A polygon is a two-dimensional figure that satisfies three conditions. The first one is that three or more segments called sides. So it has three or more segments called sides. It can't be any less than three. Uh, no two sides with a common endpoint are going to be collinear. And each side intersects exactly two other sides at each vertex. So if you can see we're in the diagram column, there's a few examples of um, polygons, but there are some that aren't examples of polygons. So if we look, we have to make sure it's two-dimensional. So this one is not a polygon. That's three-dimensional. And we have to have three or more segments. And segments have to be straight lines, which means if there's any curves, that's not going to be a polygon either. So the two remaining are polygons because it satisfies all three conditions. All right, the second definition we have is a regular polygon. A regular polygon is a polygon in which all angles are congruent and all sides are congruent. And that's my little congruent symbol. So uh, it would look something like this. This would be a regular triangle or equilateral triangle there. All sides are the same. All angles are the same. Um, same with all of these. All have the same sides, the same angles. It's a regular polygon. All right. And the last vocab term we have uh, is convex and concave. So the two of those. Uh, convex is when all lines drawn from one vertex to another are inside the polygon. And you can kind of think of convex as um, at all vertices, the shape is bending outward. That's another way to think about it. If I draw any line from any two vertices, one to the other, it has to go inside. There's no way it can go outside. So that'll give us a convex. Concave, we can draw a line connecting two vertices which is outside the polygon. For example, here, I can connect those two vertices, but that line is not inside of our polygon. Um, again, another way to think about concave is that any vertices, if it caves in, instead of bending out, that's going to be a concave polygon. All right, so um, next we're going to look at the sum of the interior angle measurements of a convex polygon. So we're going to start with a triangle, which has three sides. If we think about a triangle, and I know this column might sound silly at first, but the number of triangles in a triangle is one. And the sum of the interior angles, as we've learned in previous chapters, is 180 degrees. The next one, we have a quadrilateral, which is four sides. And if we think about this, I can take any vertice and connect it to the opposite one and create two triangles. If I have two triangles, when I find the angle measurements of this triangle here, and then I add it to the angle measurements of, uh, and I'm going to do it in a different color so they're different, this one here, then if we look, all those red and green markings make up the interior angles of the, of the qu uh, quadrilateral. Sorry. Uh, so with the two triangles, we can take two and multiply it by 180. And we know that the interior angle measurements of any quadrilateral is going to have to be 360 degrees when you add all those angles together. Uh, similarly, pentagon, we have five sides. Again, I can take from any vertex and connect the vertices like that. And if you notice, if I draw this one and this one, if I connect that vertex to the other ones, it doesn't create any more triangles because those lines were already there. But here we can see that in a pentagon, we have three triangles. So the measures of the sum of the interior angles is going to be 3 times 180, which is 540 degrees. All right, and then in a hexagon, we have six sides. And again, I can take a vertex and connect it to the other vertices, creating four triangles. So 4 times 180 degrees will give me 720 degrees. And so these are just a few examples. Hopefully by now you kind of see the pattern. Depending on the number of sides, let's say it's n, any number of sides, the number of triangles is going to be n minus 2. If I take the number of sides and subtract 2, I get the number of triangles. 
And so the sum of the interior angles is going to be that number n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So that's going to give us our nice little formula for the measure of the sum of, whoops, let's see, the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon, so all the way up at the top. All right, we can take that one step farther and figure out the formula for finding one interior angle of a regular convex uh, polygon. And so here, if I do my sum of the interior angles, n minus 2 times 180, and then I divide it by the number of sides, which is the same as the number of angles. So here, let me mark this for you. This is the sum of interior angles, and this is the number of angles. If I take the sum and divide it equally between all the angles, I'll get the measure of one of those angles. But note that this only works for regular polygons. So we can't use that formula if it's not a regular polygon because if we're dividing those angles up equally, we want to make sure that it's because all the angles have the same measure. All right, so next we're going to look at the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon. Now this doesn't have to be a regular polygon, it could be any polygon. Uh, and let's look at an example and kind of figure this out. So if this is 80 and we want all the exterior angles, then we're going to use that linear pair, the supplementary angles and find those outside angles. So next to 80 would be 100, next to 60 would be 120 degrees so that they add to 180. Next to 40 would be 140 degrees. And if I take those and add them up, I'm going to get 360 degrees. All right, let's look at the next example and see what happens. For a triangle, we had 360 degrees, but let's see about when it's a quadrilateral. <clears throat> So we have 100 degrees here, 85 here, 80 here, and 95 to make 180 at each angle. And if I add them all up, my sum, again, is going to be 360 degrees. You can check on your calculator if you'd like. All right, so um, as a little formula, doesn't really need a formula, it's pretty cool, uh, the measure of the sums, sum of the exterior angles is always 360, no matter what size or how many sides you have on your polygon. And if I wanted to take the measure of one exterior angle, again, I can take that 360 and just divide by the number of sides or the number of angles. Okay, and wow, that concludes our lesson for today. Pretty quick one. Uh, well, thank you for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.